For this week's podcast on English.com, I'm talking to Jackie, who's just come back from quite an exciting trip. Mm. Isn't that right, Jackie? I have, yes. So where have you been? Well, I've been down to the south of Spain, uh, and I've been whale watching. Whale watching? Mm -hmm. Okay. So who did you go with? I went with this company called Aventura Marina. Right, okay. Run by a guy called Angel, and it was wonderful. So, uh, I must admit, I've been whale watching in New Zealand. I've seen sperm whales, but I don't think there are sperm whales in Spain. So, what did you see? Well, before we went out, Angel gave a talk about what we might see. And the reason why the Straits of Gibraltar, the narrow area between Spain and Morocco, is so good for seeing these kind of animals. Um, so, I was very excited about all sorts of things that I could see. In the end... Uh, we saw striped dolphins. Now, I had never heard of striped dolphins, had you? No, I know there's lots of different types, but never striped. There were over a thousand striped dolphins. You saw a thousand dolphins? That's what they say. My it was God. amazing. The, the water looked like it was boiling because there were so many dolphins leaping out of the water. Wow. A any other sorts of dolphins? Yes, we saw my favourite... Um, a small group of the, the, the bottlenose dolphins. Ah, flipper. flipper yes. <laughs> they, were, they were swimming at the, as they always do, at the front of the boat. Right, OK. And the third group that we saw were pilot whales. All oh, right, OK, yeah. Yeah. There was They're quite small whales, aren't they? They have this very strange shaped head. I don't know... If you, if you know what they look like. I, th I think so. It's a very square head. Yeah. And um, there were about 25 of them. Okay. Now, for all of these, I took photographs and stuff. Um, and especially the striped dolphins. I was taking loads and loads of photos and the films and things like this. So it wasn't until I got back that I spoke to Achel about what we had seen. And he said that there was a baby with the... Well, there were calves with the pilot whales. Oh. And their, their photographer managed to take some pictures of that. So he had a big telephoto lens and he got a photo of the babies. He did, yes, indeed. Wow. So what sort of boat were you on then for this? Actually, that's an interesting question, Richard. It was a catamaran. OK. And um, what, was, what was particularly interesting is that the, the hulls had windows in so that you could see the animals underwater. Ooh. Fantastic for the children, of course. <laughs> yes, and were there many people on the trip? Um, about 40, I would say, that's all. OK, quite a big boat then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's 20 metres. So you saw the two sorts of dolphins and the pilot whales. Yeah, and I was happy about that, but one of the things that you can see, and you can see those all year round. OK. Um... One of the things I was kind of hoping that I might be lucky to see were the orcas. Oh, yes, the killer whales. Exactly, because um, they start coming um, July to September. Oh, so they're only seasonal then, are they? Exactly, exactly. So overall then, was it worth it then? Was it expensive? I thought it was quite expensive before I went on the trip. It was 30 euros. Not too bad, though. I think, how many hours was it on? It was a good two hours. It was a good two oh, hours. it's not too bad, I don't think. No, but at the end, it was such a fantastic time. I really enjoyed seeing all the, all the dolphins and the pilot whales. I would definitely recommend it. Yes, I thought it was perfect. Mm -hmm.